going through my day and I realized that reading the help was just not going to be an option and I never got the Princess Bride from my library and it's the last day so I came up with a different solution. I decided to turn to manga because I had wanted to initially include manga in with graphic novels but that just didn't happen for me at the time. Uh, the graphic novels I were, was reading was for school and then I just didn't really get to read quite what I wanted due to time. So I decided to turn to manga because I know I can read that quickly. I want, I want to read it. And I, I've seen some animes based off of mangas. One that I am currently in the middle of and actually watched a little bit of earlier today was My Hero Academia. So I got the ebook of My Hero Academia from the library and I just finished it and it was beautiful. My Hero Academia is just an amazing anime and amazing manga. I loved it so much. I rated it five stars because I love all the characters, I love the personalities and the quirks and everything. Um, like it's just so wholesome and sweet. So I sat down and just, just read it right here, right now. So I completed that challenge. I completed the uh, watch the adaptation before you read so it's gonna count anyway i will catch up with you guys again later when i have a final update for the secret garden alrighty hey everyone and welcome it is the last vlog for the reading rush for 2020 so sad that it's over but i gotta be honest it was a bit of a rough one i tried to do it easy on myself it was hard, but I was still successful, technically. Now, this is the vlog for day 7, but I waited a little bit to upload it because I wanted to film a wrap-up, but it was so late on the last day of the reading rush that I finished that I just figured, you know, I, I wanted to include the wrap-up in this video, but I wanted to sleep after I finished reading, so I decided to go to bed and film the, uh, the wrap up today, the day after, just how I was sitting there. So I almost stuck to my TBR. Uh, normally I'm pretty good about sticking to TBRs, um, but I had to change it this time just because COVID affected the libraries, which affected my TBR, and it just didn't quite work out. So the first book that I finished was The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chakshi. I listened to this on, on, as an audiobook and I thought it was all right. Um, I think I finished it on like day four so if you want to hear like my full thoughts that's in the day four vlog. I gave it three out of th five stars because it just it was good but it wasn't really anything special um, and then the next book that I finished I read in one day I read it literally in like half an hour was the manga volume one of My Hero Academia and I did that for watching the adaptation before reading the original print um, and I did this to replace Princess Bride because I just wasn't going to get Princess Bride on time. And I have always wanted to really read a manga. And so I read the ebook from my library for that. And I loved it. I and then last night, late at night, I finished The Secret Garden. It was the one book print that I actually read. But it just took me so long to get into because I just did not have a lot of time during the reading rush to sit down and read something um, because when it's three weeks before your wedding you, you don't exactly have the most amount of time to do uh, hours of reading <laughs> which is why I did such an easy TBR but I still made it just by the skin of my teeth like I do with every single readathon why I don't know but yeah, I thought The Secret Garden was a lot better this time around trying to read it than when I tried to read it in middle school, but I think that's just because I am understanding more of what I'm reading. It wasn't a particularly like hard book with a bunch of old English. I think the accents in the book may have thrown me off as well as just me not remembering what I read. <laughs> that's always been a struggle for me. But So I think I just had a better understanding going into the book now rather than when I tried to read it the first time and so it's still like an eh book but I can appreciate it a little bit more it yeah it just kind of filled up my time 
Um, I do, I do like the characters a lot, and I like the premise, and I just, yeah, that's really all I'm gonna say. So that is the end of the Reading Rush 2020. I'm already looking forward to next year, and hopefully, you know, next year will be less hectic so I can maybe read, like, seven books and complete one challenge per book and actually read a book a day. I know, right? That would be nice, so I'm excited for next year, but because this year is done, I'm just going to stop trying to prolong it and go ahead and end this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you liked. If there were certain things in this, these vlogs that you were like, oh, you should apply this to your regular vlogs or uh, maybe don't do this, like, feel free to comment down below. Um, and subscribe if you're new because I am doing a cool year-long project and then next year I'm going to go back to regular reading. So if you just prefer that, then subscribe and just hang tight for a little bit as well. Um, and so with that, I'm going to wish you all happy reading.